Hey, what's up? It's TT Toy. You know, I like to get on here when I got something on my mind. And uh, I recently, like, had words with somebody. And some things they said to me really hurt. And I said some things back to them that probably hurt them, too. And I don't like getting taken to the place where I am, like, uh, pointing out other people's flaws. And I know that nobody can take me to that place. I allow people, I allow myself to go there. You feel me? Like, I got control over my mouth, thoughts, actions. So, what somebody else says to me that might hurt my feelings is not a justification for saying something else back mean or it wasn't so it wasn't it was it wasn't like it wasn't true but i really want to learn how to master saying things out of love but then i also am aware that sometimes people got you fucked up and you just need to let it be what it be and how it come out it come out and um a lot of times I wouldn't tell people how they had me fucked up because the way I speak and when I'm in my feelings, uh, there's no, it's hard for me to make it cute. So, so it come out real ugly when I, when I get to that place and after letting it build up, after having a connection with somebody and you and this person is having friction and me being the type of person of not wanting, of wanting to spare people feelings of, uh, wanting to, to protect how they feel. Um, a lot of times I wouldn't address my feelings or I wouldn't address where a motherfucker had me fucked up or, um, but that happened last night to me and When I go to that place, I turn ugly with words. And I don't like that because words are important. So I want to try to always learn how to use mine carefully. And I, uh, I've been in verbally abusive relationships. I've been in all kind of freaking uh, craziness. And that's just not something I want in my life anymore. I don't want to deal with people that I have to tell you how ugly you are because that's not my job. It's, it's not our job to have to uh, convince people to see, look at themselves in the mirror and see. But what I learned, it is my job to let a motherfucker know they got me fucked up. And it is my job to be myself. And it is my job to express myself. And it is my job to put myself first. So, you know, after the little heated few words, I got off the phone and started crying. Automatically feeling sad for being ugly to somebody who could give a fuck less about how they made me feel. And then I... Then I was laying there as I was crying. I was thinking, telling myself, people are, people only treat you how uh, they see themselves. People treat you how they see themselves. And that's true. People do treat you how they see themselves. But in, in the same token, people are reflections. And if somebody is, uh, in your experience, treating you some kind of way by them being your reflection, and it's something you need to fix in you. So I'm not, I'm not the one to be trying to, to place the blame on anybody for, uh, uh, us having a negative experience or a less satisfying experience with each other because it's, it all fall back on me. How do I feel about myself? Because if if I'm loving myself and um, feeling amazing, and why am I attracting this type of experience? Like, what's going on inside of me? I 
I just want to say that in the past, I took a lot of shitty behavior from a lot of people who've been through shitty circumstances in their life, and it probably made them treat other people shitty. I have compassion. I understand our life circumstances can be hard and turn us into somebody we didn't even recognize. We don't even recognize who we are when we look in the mirror because I've been that same person. I'm fighting hard to come from that person. And I don't want to use my words to tear people down. I don't want to be that person no more. So uh, I choose to forgive myself. I choose to forgive myself for um, hurting that person and hurting my own self for hurting that person. But I choose to put me first. I choose to stand up for myself. I choose to tell people, get the fuck out of my face with that bullshit. Miss me. I choose to love myself. I'm learning to love myself. And I'm not going to let anything stand in the way of that ever again in life. Not even my own self. I got a lot of hard work I've been avoiding. I'm facing it. Sometimes I don't make videos because I'm being hard on myself. Because I feel like I got to plan this whole speech. But I'm tired of that. I just want to get on here and talk because it helps me. It helps me to figure out who I am. And be true to that. And learn lessons. <laughs>